Hello, friends and family of the Paleo Post podcast. This is your host, Seth, and I am so excited to be bringing this podcast to you, the viewer at the AABA's on the screen and in poster. Hey, everyone, and welcome to the show, the Paleo Post podcast. On this episode, Genevieve and I will be reviewing some of the most important new and exciting topics relating to paleoanthropology and the field in general. Each week, we'll be going on air to help teach and educate the science surrounding human origins as it's being done. So get ready, because your weekly paleo post is here. (laughs) Woohoo! My name is Genevieve. I'm a paleoanthropologist and rock art researcher, and I study some of the oldest art in the world. So far, I have had the privilege at working in more than 100 cave and open air sites on four continents and that number continues to grow. I look at paintings and engravings made by our distant ancestors directly Homo sapiens plus maybe a few cousin species as well. Um, Stay tuned on that front. So I'm really interested in the origins of graphic mark making of when when did symbolism start to become more prevalent with our ancestors and you know how was it important for our ancestors to be able to leave these visual marks why did it matter what were they doing with them um you know and i think art in particular because it's not utilitarian provides a very interesting insight into the minds of these these ancient people um, to help us better understand sort of where we came from and how did we get to where we are now, where, I mean, our entire culture is, the underlay of it is graphic, right? Hello, my name is Seth Chaudi. I am the founder of the World of Paleo Anthropology. I am a student at the Arizona State University Institute of Human Origins, and I am learning to become a rock art researcher and a paleo anthropologist. I am a science communicator who spends his time, my time, working on and talking to you guys, talking to the scientific community, encouraging outreach and spending time reaching those under looked at but highly valued communities that we need to spread science communication to. I'm standing here in front of a potential panel with my esteemed colleague, Dr. George Nash. Hello, my name is Dr. George Nash. I'm an associate professor at the University of Queenborough in the Geosciences Center in IPT. I'm also a honorary um, research fellow at the University of Liverpool uh, in the Department of Archaeology, Classics and Egyptology. Uh, my general interests uh, are varied, uh, but I do enjoy working with, I'm a team player, and I have been for the last three or four years working with the first art team in Portugal and Spain, where we've done an awful lot of caving and exploring caves, um, looking for rock art, identifying it, uh, sampling it, uh, the pigments, and uh, dating the pigments, and uh, we've had big success in my native Wales, South Wales, uh, well, we've been looking at a site called Bacon Hole. Um, this has been a fantastic experience for myself and my, the team that I work with. I also have a keen interest in the, the Neolithic and Bronze Age of Western Europe and have done a lot of work excavating, field work, um, looking at chamber tombs, Neolithic chamber tombs or burial ritual monuments and understanding how they fit within a wider landscape. Um, and uh, apart from that, uh, I've did, been doing the last 40 odd years uh, work with um, all types of archaeology. I can't just say I've had a great time um, and I wouldn't miss it for the world, wouldn't change it for the world either. So it's, it's a really fun, interesting area to study. And from a science communication point of view, this is really important too. Because it means it's an area where I can really engage with the public. They're also very interested. Um, And, you know, I feel as well since so much of the work that I do is funded by grant money and tax money and, you know, all that sort of public funding. um, I like to report back in and let them know what I found. And um, it's also wonderful to talk about my favorite topic with other very enthusiastic um, people who are interested in the paleolithic. So 
also part of the fun. The Paleo Post podcast has been so fun to do, not only because it gives me, you know, an hour every week where I get to talk to Seth about like my favorite subject in the world, but also I, I feel like where we can really help is that we have the opportunity to to be guides to help members of the public who are interested um, to learn more about you know why not just like the headline but why is this story important what are the implications how does this change our understanding of what is happening in the world around us and so for all of those reasons I, I think the podcast is playing an important role in in sharing the enthusiasm and sharing the joy I believe that if we're truly to have a better future, if we want to have a society that is more prepared to face the challenges that are to come, we need to work together on finding solutions. And the best way to do that is by understanding our past, because if we understand our past and the problems that we faced and how we overcame them together, we can understand and better predict ways that we can plan out solutions for our ever challenging and ever more complicated future. So it's my goal, besides communication, to reach these people and to reach everyone who is interested in learning about why we are one species, why we come from the same origins, and why together we are all one human species. That about does it for me. I hope you enjoy what is going to be a wonderful conference.